Hi Virgo, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, Tarot and I'm going to be doing your August 7th through the 31st love reading. This is intended to be a love reading. We'll see what comes up. I want to thank you to all my subscribers, watchers, commenters, and uh, bookings. I really appreciate all the support. What do you have for Virgo? August 7th through the 31st regarding love. Okay, so this is what fell out, and here you are. Okay, so right at the, be uh, the beginning of this reading, right around the 7th, we're happy to we see a missed opportunity. So it looks like somebody isn't accepting love. That could be you. Maybe somebody's trying to offer you love, and you don't want to have anything to do with it. Here, Maybe um, they're accepting you love, and you don't see it. Okay, so it could be either one. Here we have the Ace of Pentacles. This is a new raw opportunity to manifest, okay, to build something. It's a new opportunity for abundance and security, but hence the word new, okay. This card is right underneath it. This is after a breakup, okay. So this is something that, this is a split, okay. This is the Five of Cups. This is one of the breakup cards. So here, you know, this is the ability to manifest something new after a period of moping, crying, whatever. Okay, here we have the Five of Swords. This is about feeling, you know, betrayed. You know, you feel betrayed. For some reason, you feel betrayed. Um, and I think you feel betrayed regarding love. Um, maybe... Maybe there's a split or a divorce, you know, that to somebody that you thought was your soulmate. I mean, that's 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 what it looks like to me, you, you know. And it has caused you to go back in, go back into your shell, um, you know. Um, but you know, here we have you miss. This is a lost opportunity or a missed opportunity. Um, Perhaps there's been some overindulging going on. Um, this is also a Sagittarius, so maybe there's been a period of, um, you know, escapism. Well, I mean, we'll get more cards, but to get through this moping period of time. Um, here we have this, uh, this is an offer of love, okay? This is an offer, offer of love that hopefully you don't miss because you're hidden in your shell, all right? The worst is over, okay? The worst is over, so just keep that in mind, okay? The worst is over. Now it's time to pick your head up and keep walking, all right? Um, I think things have happened very, very fast for you. Whatever this betrayal and breakup and whatever conflicts you were having happened very, very, very quickly, you know, and has caused you, maybe you've tried to escape from it all. Um, yeah, yeah. Maybe that's just truly the case. So here we have the Three of Wands. This is about um, things are finally happening. You know, it's cha challenging, but I think this is something that needed to happen. It means that things are finally happening um, in your life um, regarding love. Mm -hmm. um, and it may, you know, whatever's happening... may bring you some new love okay i think i think you're, you've been through a difficult time and now it's time for new love that's what i think
I think somebody's been watching you or you've been watching them. You guys, I think there's definitely somebody looking at somebody without the other one knowing, kind of being secretive. But, um... Could be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. We also, Here we have you, here we have Libra, here we have Sagittarius. Um, here we have, this is everything that was happening pretty, pretty quickly, you know what I mean? Um, and then here we have this, it affects your home, it affects your comfortable home life, and I think that's one of the reasons why you're moping. You know what I mean? Now you maybe there's some changes going on in your home that are causing, you know, some challenges for you. Um, there's definitely some movement going on in your life. That's for darn sure. And I think that you have been prepared for it and you just were waiting for the right time or the universe was waiting for the right time. Okay? Um... The worst is over, though. The worst has happened, and you can only go up from here. And hopefully you're listening to your intuition, because your intuition, your inner knowing, your inner self, your inner guide, your gut is talking to you, and you should be listening to it at this time, especially when you get that card right there. This right here is the high priestess. Any any secrets that there were no longer secrets, because you have seen clearly now, you know, I see clearly now, so there's really no more secrets. Um, it looks like there's honest communication. Um, so perhaps you know who this person is that you were looking at, or they're looking, or they're looking at you. Perhaps you're totally aware of that. Um, yeah. Let's get some clarifiers. There you are. <laughs> I do believe that this just clarified because I was wondering about this in my head. I think that you have just had a split or you're about to split with somebody. You know, definitely, I think. And you thought that it was the one for you. And I think that's why you've decided to retreat back into your shell. And it's like a near-death situation because it's not what you thought. You know, and I think that that it's pretty devastating, okay? So, but you know that there's uh, wishes to be filled on the other side, okay? Hopefully you know that because that's the truth. This is your wishes being fulfilled, you know, in love and in your home, okay? This is, a, this in the, in the, this deck right here is the hand of God. And they're offering you the hand of prosperity, stability, security, new, new, okay? This is new love, new love, okay? Where you are equal, where you're equal with this person, Okay? Where you can totally be yourself and it's not 60-40 or 70-30. It's a 50-50 relationship. This new love. This is an offer of new love. It may come pretty quickly. Okay. What does your intuition tell you? Do you know who this person is? It can be any sign. This represents Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio and it's connected to you. It, you have the inner know. <laughs> you do. Perhaps you've been looking at them. The thing is, is that um, you're at a stalemate right now. You're at a stalemate. You can't make a decision. For some reason, you're pretending. You're, I think you're pretending that you're, that you're, I don't know what the hell it is. Are you pretending that everything's all right in your life and you don't need somebody? Is that what you, you don't need anybody right now? Is that what, is that it? Is that what you're pretending? Are you pretending that everything is good and when it's not? And so you just ex soon escape with alcohol or whatever food, whatever it is you overindulge in. So whatever makes you escape reality. Ten of fire. 
Ten of Wands. Too much. Too much work. Accept help from others. Life is out of balance. Stress-related health con concerns. You have been under a lot of stress. I think trying to escape reality. That causes stress. Trying to pretend that everything is okay. That causes stress. You know? Um, perhaps realizing that whatever, whoever, whoever, whatever it is you thought was the right one isn't. I mean, that causes stress. Um, the Emperor. This is Aries. Organization and logic. Structure and discipline. Leadership. This is telling you to take back control. I think you've probably had this one before. Control of your thoughts. Okay. Take back control of your thoughts. Then you can take, take back control of your life. Structure and discipline. It's going to take discipline to get through whatever it is you're going through. And that's energy that this card wants you to take on. Life experience. This is about the, this is the tower. A significant life offense that comes in unexpectedly. That comes, or it doesn't even have to be unexpectedly at this point. I think some there's going to be a breakup with these five of cups and the and the eight of cups, if there hasn't been one already, and it's going to change your life. Okay, a significant life event that turns out to be a blessing because there's something better. A powerful revelation that leads to change. Tr time to spread your wings. Do not hide from it. Don't hide from it. I'm going to get three of, these, three of these angel romance cards for you. This is somebody new. Chemistry, there's a strong magnetic attraction here with new love that's coming in. Should you choose to see it, you may not choose to see it because you're still hung up on whatever whatever this else is. This is escape from reality, you know. But there will be chemistry, all right. Let go of control and issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. What are the steps you're guided to take? Make a decision. It's time to make a decision. You can't escape from reality forever. Okay? If something is holding you back from following your dreams and making your wishes be being fulfilled, you need to take stand your ground and do something about it. Okay? Let go of the need to control the past. Okay? There's been betrayal. There's been deceit. Perhaps something didn't work out with somebody and you really, really, really need to let it go. And you can't hide in your shell. That's one of the steps. Do not hide in your shell. Be open to the possibilities. Because in this, this deck right here, there's four cups, but he's only seeing three of them. There's other possibilities out there for you. got this new deck which I'm doing one card for everybody I do have to read from the book because I'm still learning them but it's just as good Vintage Wisdom Oracle that's my new deck I'm going to get one card for you Virgo and see what comes out Isis, giver of life, 
giver of life and div div diviner of magic, is depicted standing motionless in a haunting moonlight river, celebrated for her archetypal feminine powers of healing. Isis was often portrayed wearing a throne-like headdress. Red is the color of life force, passion, and forward movement. And Isis claps a bundle of fragrant red roses, ro red rose petals to her chest. Like thoughts and dreams, they fall silently to the water's surface to be carried to a new destination by the river. Her inquiring eyes are fixed on the far distance as if transported by deep contemplation. The surrounding watery blue landscape, landscape of river and moon represents the realms of the unconscious mind, psyche, and dreams. Modern times have seen the decline of sacred values, traditions, and spiritual beliefs that help keep us nurtured. Surviving the challenges of the physical life can be overwhelming at times. Our feelings of being almost robotically governed by the constraints of practicality, logic, and duty allow little time for what appears to be the seemingly indulgent and magical acts of dreaming. However, a dream is merely a goal without feet. It is often through the creative power of dreams that we find the courage to begin their realization. The reality. Many people will tell you that the greatness of their success began with a dream. The dreams card signifies that now may be the time to make a significant decision or to rethink your direction and make some changes, which, however small, could lead to larger things. <laughs> I've already basically said this. The inclusion of dreams in any equation can make the difference between a good decision and a great one. Be aware of the power and potential that this card invites you to explore. By investing your time a little differently and daring to dream, in the words of Sarah Bond Breathnock, the world needs dreamers and the world needs doers. But above all, the world needs dreamers who do. Me go. So, uh, Move it, Mia. Sorry, I got a cat who thinks that he's the boss. So anyhow, that's it. That's what I have for you. Um, thank you for watching and subscribing and liking. And if this doesn't resonate with you, then um, it wasn't meant to be. Okay, thanks. Bye.